The Curiosities by Zana Freilon and Phil Lesney. The Curiosities came at dawn. By the time Miro woke, they had already chosen their nesting space. At first, the curiosities were quiet. They blended in. At first, Miro didn't even notice them, perched on his shoulders and nuzzled in his hair. At first, Miro thought the tingle he felt was just the warmth of the sun or the murmuring of the wind. But slowly, Miro began to see things differently. He began to feel things differently and do things differently too. The curiosities would point and chirp and pull him toward places hidden away from everyday eyes. They showed him how to swim with the stars and tickle the songs from the earth. They showed him how to whisper up waves and weave clouds to make stories for the wind. Miro had never noticed all the oddments and snippets before. All those wonders and possibilities waiting in the shadows where no one else looked. And when the night whispered its song across the earth, and Miro could feel the curiosities prickling inside him. He would play his fiddle. The curiosities would cheer and clap, the music becoming more wild and more wonderful than he could ever imagine. Then Miro and his curiosities would dance and play deep into the night. Before long, others began to notice the curiosities too. When Miro guided a weathered elder to her home, her hand soft on his arm and her world-wrinkled stories gentle in his ear, he smiled as she patted the head of a curiosity, perched in listening to her words. But sometimes, the curiosities were so loud and strange that people couldn't help but stare. The curiosities trilled and gurgled, pulling at Miro's arms and flapping at his legs, whispering in his ears so that everything around him disappeared into a buzz of cold noise and confusion. Sometimes the curiosities were so bright and brilliant that everyone turned away. Then, no matter what he did, Miro was invisible. One evening, as the sun tiptoed across the very tops of the trees, something itched at the curiosities. A wild, untamed storm, furious and strong. The curiosities gathered, cheering and clapping and stomping and yowling. Miro decided demanded quiet. He pleaded for peace, but the curiosities would not be tamed. They shrieked and roared. They washed over Miro, loud and strange and bright and brilliant and prickly and tingly, flapping around, flapping and hissing and screeching and hurtling. The darkness wrapped itself around him, deep, black, and wet. Miro howled. He felt the ground vanish beneath him, and the sounds of the earth fade until all around him was deep silence. Then he heard it, a whisper of a voice, just a snippet of a world-wrinkled story. Dancing on the wind, Miro uncurled. He opened his eyes, and there it was, a single thread of knowing, thin and fragile, 
and almost invisible to his fingers, but there, gently, carefully, Miro pulled. And when the elder appeared, the ground grew again under Miro's feet, and the grounds and the sounds of the earth broke through the hissed whispers of the curiosities. The elder helped Miro to his feet, brushing away the darkness. Miro could still feel the curiosities itching, but he could feel the thread too, getting stronger and harder to break. Miro rubbed his eyes and blinked in the light. He hadn't realized how many threads had already grown. Miro soon found that the more threads that grew, the easier it was to shed the darkness when it came. And even though strangers still sometimes stared or turned away, Miro had the knowing of many others. And it seemed to Miro that the curiosities had chosen lots of other people too, in lots of different ways. From time to time, when the breeze blew just so across the mountains and a hint of rain cartwheeled on the air, the curiosities would leave. Their wings would spread and they would soar high on the wind. They always came back, but Miro didn't mind. Now, Miro could swim with the stars and tickle the songs from the earth. He could whisper up waves and weave clouds to make stories for the wind. Now, Miro could see all the oddments and snippets, all those hidden wonders and possibles waiting in the shadows. Can you? The end.